Alright, so it's been a few hours since I last recorded, and uh, I only recently just checked up the ability stuff. And there is only one single Pokemon on my team that I want to use the ability capsule on right now. And that is Night Fuel. Night Fuel right now has uh, Gluttony, I believe. Which means that he will eat berries um, basically earlier than normally. Whereas I can now change his ability to Strongjaw. There we go. And Strongjaw, if we just take a quick, quick look. I'm going to keep my team like this for now because I feel like I kind of like the Pokemon that I've got right now. If we check Strongjaw, the Pokemon Strongjaw boosts the power of its biting moves. Every single one of his moves is a biting move. They are all physical moves. He has only biting moves and now Strongjaw boosts the attack. Boost the power, yeah, boost, boost the power? Is it power? Anyway, it does 50% more damage on every single biting move. So Night Fuel is kind of going to be a beast for us. Um, but we need to work out where we're going next. I assume it's back where those Sudowoodos were, right? Like, uh, don't you have a... You guys, didn't this guy have a Z crystal? I think. I give you a little trial of my own. You think you're ready to take on my little trial? I've got a Z power ring myself. Um, yeah, sure, dude. I've heard the latest batch of trial goers are a feisty lot. I've been looking forward to this. This whole trial goers little trial is about to start. Well, I've either just, I might have doomed myself based on uh, Bronson here, however strong he is. Send out Slowpoke. I don't know what type of Z move he's got. That's the problem. Go Go here should be able to take out a Slowpoke fairly easily with Razor Leaf. It just depends on what Pokemon he has that has the Z move. Incinerate? What? Oh my god, okay. So he has a water Pokemon. With in a fire move, incinerate. Hang on, why do I incinerate? I forgot about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my little VTuber avatar again. I I really like it. I need to, I need to kind of get used to using the the emotes in time of when I when I say things. But uh, Girafferig. Okay, so Girafferig is a a pure psychic type, I believe. I don't know if this rum hack has changed Girafferig. So, if you're pure psychic type, part of me thinks I should go for Night Fuel. Night Fuel's got Crunch, and Night Fuel should be really, really good. This guy might be a psychic type trainer. He sent out Slowpoke, now he's sending out Girafferig. Um, Girafferig is one of those Pokemon that I kind of forget exists, you know? Assurance, that didn't do much, but I think it has a secondary effect. But that does not matter! That does not matter to Night Fuel. Night Fuel grew to level 33, good job, buddy! Yeah, giving giving him Strongjaw was definitely, definitely the right move. Mr. Mime, okay, so he is a Psychic Tech Trainer. I'm going to keep Night Fuel out. I c it could be kind of risky, considering that... We've faced a Mr. Mime before with uh, Lima. And uh, because it's not super effective here, it obviously has a secondary type that's neutralizing it. But I will go for a Crunch regardless because it gets stab damage. It got a boost of defense and it used Z Reflect. Okay. So he has now defended himself super hard against physical moves, as you can see. Never mind, your, your defense fell. That was a wasted Z move, Bronson. How, how much did it raise it by? It raised it by one. He raised his entire team's defense by one. And I just lowered it completely by accident. Well done, Bron- Ooh, Magical Leaf, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, uh, Lima's Mr. Mime was kind of a real pain for what I remember. I mean, that was like... 
nearly 20 episodes ago or something. I think it was like episode 8 that I battled Lima. So I don't really remember. In in real time, it was many months ago. Which is why I, why I don't remember Lima. <laughs> but we did it! Good job, Night Fuel! Well done, buddy! Joker to level 32. Congratulations, you cleared a little trial. Are you going to give me like a... Maybe a sight? Wait, what? Wait, what? Joe... Joe evolves again? What? I... What do you evolve into? Oh! I forgot about Crunkle Durr! I forgot about you! Oh, that's cool! Good job, Joe! That's the end of my little trial. Phew, -wee. you got some solid skills, kids. Yeah, I gotta congratulate you. Here's the rewards. Nature power. That's... I kind of useless, dude. Can you, please, sir. Please, can you give me a better reward? Nature power kind of sucks. A young trogoer like me needs a good TM. Seeing young kids give it all like that, you all shine as bright as a, a, the sun over a Lola. This might just be a volunteer position, but I'm sure glad I decided to be a trial guide. All right, well you're useless. I'm not, oh, hang on a second. Rotom, Rotom sat on my bottom screen. What do you want, Rotom? Hey, do you ever read those trained tips you see posted here and there? I, I mean, I usually can't be bothered. Oh, I like to go about things your own way, eh? But you're still having f uh, like having me around, hey? No, I don't, Rotom. No, I don't. Will you give me a, Will you give me a spin? No, you won't. Okay, you're useless. So I'm assuming I've got to go down here, from what I remember. Hello. Woo! Bye, Suda Widow. Oh, it's the robots! <gasps> it's been so long since I've seen them! Oh, I love them! <laughs> Wait, were those just Pokemon? I totally thought they were just plants. Calm yourself, Saucy. They must have been these Pokemon known as Pseudo Udo. I do not know a pseudo mudo. I only know pseudo code. A most interesting Pokemon. I wish I could research them further. They must be mimicking plant life in attempt to avoid their weakness. Water. Hello there, human. These Alolan Pokemon, they are also unique and fascinating. But battling them is not easy. So I challenge you with the one we are accustomed to, Poipole. Wait, what? I don't want to. I don't want to battle Poipole. Poipole's a Z beast. Uh, um, 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 a uh, an Ultra Beast. I knew it. You can't just challenge people like that. Sorry, Miss Trainer, but would a battle with you be okay? No, no, it wouldn't. Sorry, no. That's what I thought. It's way too sudden. <laughs> hey, kid. Hey, it looks like you passed a lot of this trial, huh? And you got the Warium Z. That pseudo couldn't take that at all. Uh. Um. Can, can I climb this? You can't see me. Climb the fence. Climb the fence. Climb the fence. Fuck. I don't want to. I don't want to battle a Poipole. I've never battled one before. Um, Poipole is a poison type. So. What is good against poison again? It's a, it's, I think it's just pure poison. Like, I'm angry, okay? I'm angry. I don't want to, I don't want to lose Pokemon just now. After defeating the totem. I mean, I know, I know the totem was easy and everything, considering, considering doctors just kind of like, swept it away, but. Um. I don't think I have a Pokemon on me that's good against poison. Uh, let's see. JCH, no. What is good against poison? I think Psychic's good against poison, right? Um. I, 
I've, I've never battled one of these, but I've, I've only played Pokemon Moon, you see. It's, um... I might just have to go in there with, like, JCH, I think, and just see. I mean, I've got... Wait, isn't... is Gra... is Grass weak to, um... to poison? I don't know. I don't know. It's a problem. Right, this is... this could go really bad for me. I'm gonna heal up my guys. Um... What did I get again? Nature power. The attack uses the power of nature. It's very... okay. That's not gonna be useful for me. Um... I think only Psychic is actually good against Poison. Um, let's just heal up Night Fuel right there. Um, I'm just going to heal you up a tiny, tiny bit. Probably isn't even worth it to heal JCH that much, but when we're up against the Ultra Beast, I feel like it is kind of worth it. Um, you've got a Leftovers. Hey Joe, can I borrow that? Thank you. I think if I give JCH the... Wait, what's JCH's um, speed stats? 68. It is your... It's your highest stat other than attack. I guess I'm just going to go try and physical attack. Um... I am one of you now. I talk like this. I am definitely a robot. Uh, uh, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, boop. <laughs> Alright, don't mind me. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, Miss Trainer, but do you think a battle would be okay? I will warn you now. Pokeball cannot be found anywhere in Alola. Alola. Oh god, how many Pokemon is he going to have? Oh, it's just one. Okay, that's even scarier. That is even scarier to me. Yeah, it looks like a baby. It's all 32. Um... Um... Aerial is 60 and it doesn't miss. Takedown is 90, but it can miss. Bulldoze is 60. Oh, that lowers the speed. All right, we're going to lower its speed. If, if we can start hitting first, then a shock. Oh, no. JCH. Oh, it's super effective, and that was a crit, too. Oh, but that's super effective. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. So it's weak against grounds. Um. Hmm. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta move with milk. We gotta. We gotta heal up JCH here. The problem is, is that he can Venus Shock again. Yeah, there's another Venus Shock. I don't remember how much PP Venus Shock has. As long as he doesn't a. As long as he doesn't a get a crit, and b poison me, I'm okay. There's another Venice Shock. Okay, you know what? I have to I have to go for a move here. 70. So even if I move second, even if I move second, as long as it doesn't crit me, I will live. Oh, JCH is faster. Okay, that was... Whew. Actually, that's the wrong emote. That's, that's the correct emote. I am so happy. Good job, JCH. Well done. I break my eyes for you. So I should have failed. So I have failed to understand Poipole. He only gave me 360 bucks? Well, you only gave me 360 bucks? I deserve more for that! I must research more for my defeat. You're the power ring. It's so pretty when it shines like that. What are you suggesting? It might be like that beautiful light our ancestors once saw. How should I know? See you around, trainer. Beep boop, boop boop. Beep bop bop. 
Goodbye. We're weirdos, right? <laughs> hey kids, you think those guys are real weird? <laughs> those weird people had weird Pokemon to match. Well, I guess it's not a big deal. The weird people are now gone, and so are the Sudowoodo. Here's a little something for you in return. Oh, thank you. Thanks, buddy. I was just I was just about to say, hey, what do you think of those weirdos? <laughs> and he calls them weirdos. Okay. Route 6. Is this a new route? Hold on, is this a new route? AKA Straight Street. I don't belong here then. Why? Well, I'm not. I don't belong. <laughs> Alright, JCH, you can stay out in the lead, buddy. Um, I think this is a double battle. I'm assuming it's a double battle. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. I like double battles. Captain Kiawe is teaching me how to dance. Training, training, dancing and Pokemon both just need more training. Alright. I'm I'm very, very happy that we managed to defeat that Poipole. That was really, really scary. Dancing family Jen and Fumiko. Wigglytuff and Jigglypuff. Okay, so two two fairy type Pokemon. That's not too scary. We've got JCH and Darkness, and Darkness will make it rain. There we go. Uh, I don't think that's going to help JCH at all, but JCH can hit a Razor Leaf. Actually, does Aerial Ace hit them both as well? No, it doesn't. That's right. Alright, you go ahead and hit that, and then you hit Air Cutter. There we go. We can damage both of them. We should kill them on this turn, right? Yeah, there goes Jigglypuff. Wigglytuff is pretty goddamn buff to take that. Oh, the the girl has a Jigglypuff and the mom has a Wigglytuff. That's really cute. Dog is good level thirty three. Good job, buddy. And so then I I am I am high level. Ooh, stockpile. No, I I don't like the stockpile gimmick. Swallow, yeah. The next one, spit up, right? Yeah, spit up. I ne I never understood the, the the stockpile spit up and swallow gimmicks. Like, I never, I never understood it in Pokemon. Like, I don't think I've ever used those moves. Yeah, Darkness took that in the face, but that's fine. Uh, you go ahead and just hit an Aerial Ace. Actually, no, you can hit a Bulldoze. Bulldoze should be good against it. That hits... That doesn't hit Darkness, never mind. And then Darkness just hit it with a Bubble Beam. That, that should do. But, um... I don't know what I was going to say now before I got interrupted by uh, those three moves. Oh, that's right. It's it's cool that the mom has the Wigglytuff because she's older and more experienced and her Jigglypuff has evolved. Whereas the kid has just started with Jigglypuff. I mean, she's got a Wigglytuff. No, I know what I was talking about now. I, I was talking about how I'm overleveled for these trainers. And yeah, I'm kind of overleveled for the trainers, but I wasn't overleveled for the totem. I think that... I think realistically I cheesed the totem by stacking two um two roto boosts. But I mean it's whatever, you know. I considering considering the uh, the robo dude here, um not Zossi, Dulcel was level 30. My my Pokemon aren't that that high level. Hang on, what's up with Rotom now? What do you want, buddy? Oh, he wants a spin, okay. There you go. What am I going to get? Give me something cool. Never mind. That is not an amazing power, Rotom. That's a HP restore. I ha I yeah, I know what it is. You've given me like eight of them. I've never used a single one. Alright, so we can get some new Pokemon on this route. Um, that's a trainer. Ah. Yep, yep, yep. Is it is it the trainer below that's causing the zoom out? I mean, I want to stand I want to stand still and see. No, it's I guess it's not. All right, I don't. Can I? I want I want to zoom out again. Zoom out again. Oh, I don't want to trigger that. I want to get some new Pokemon. Um. Yeah, JCH should be fine to stay out in the lead. I think. There we go. I'm a breeder. I raise and breed Pokemon. Alright, dude, don't... 
Don't walk up to a small child and be like, Psst, hey, hey little girl, hey, I'm a breeder. Bone sweets. Okay. I'm fairly certain bone sweet was introduced in this generation, right? It sounds a very French sign of Pokemon name. So it makes me feel like it should have been introduced in... In Kalos. But whatever. Bye-bye, Bon Sweet. Uh, a Flaffy. You stay out, JCH. Darkness can't come out. Hara can't come out. Lily can't come out. Uh, you're staying out just because you can hit a Bulldoze. Ground is real good against Electric. There we go. Good job, JCH. Well done. Harrogood level 33. Harrow's close to evolving. A Fennekin. Alright. Perfect time for Harrow to come out. I love Fennekin. Fennekin is a really cool Pokemon. But at the same time, I think... I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I prefer Brakeson over Delphox. Like, I prefer the second stage evolution of this Pokemon compared to the first. Or the third. It just, it just looked cooler. And now, now I'm reminded of that awful, awful gif of uh, Serana being turned into a Brixen at some point in the anime. <laughs> oh my god, Nightfall wants to do Super Fang? Um, it always cuts the user's HP in half. No, 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 no. I like your moveset right now, Night Fuel. You have such good type coverage. And you are basically perfect for just biting things with your ability now. Like, there is... Wait, what? What the? Uh... Super Repel, okay. I can just, like, sneak... This is how you sneak into the back of someone's house, I guess? Oh, hello. Sleep Talk! That's useless. I don't need Sleep Talk. All right, let's go get some two new Pokemon. Let's go, come on. First one is a uh, Ponyard, there you go. I was trying to get, I looked away and tried to guess what the name was so it wouldn't spoil it for me. <laughs> Cause I got it confused with, um, is it Bisharp? I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit a move. See, this is where, this is where Super Fang would be handy to go ahead and, um, you know, just lower its HP by half and not have to risk killing it, but at the same time I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't I don't want that. I would rather keep Night Fuel as this biting monster, you know? No help for you, I'm sorry. Actually, what happens what happens if my my catch calls for help? Let's let's determine a rule now, I think. So if my if if Pornyard here called for help and it called like uh, it called like a Flaffy, do I have the choice to catch the Flaffy instead of the Pornyard, or do I have to catch the Pornyard and kill the Flaffy? I'm not sure how we should do that because technically Pornyard should be the catch because it's the encounter that I ran into. But then in, in in other Nuzlocke runs, when you run into two Pokemon at once, or even a horde in um like in Sing in the in Sinking Sapphire and Omega Ruby, if you run into a horde, you have your choice of the horde of which Pokemon you want. Man, you just can Ponyo can please get caught. I honestly don't know what would happen if it called for help. Like, I feel like I would have to get Pornyard, but then, hey, f okay, all I had to do was say please, and Pornyard was like, oh, okay. Sorry, buddy, I didn't I didn't know you wanted me to get caught. I mean, Pornyard could be cool. And it's actually native to Alola, hell yeah. When you check out what kind of Pokemon you caught, Pornyard, the sharp blade Pokemon. After shredding its play, it sharpens its blade on a stone by the river. Each Pornia had its own favourite sharpening stone. Look at that derpy little face too. <laughs> okay, Pornyard, you are going to be nicknamed. Let me just look at my list. 
Um, Damien. Damien like that. Demian, more like. Uh, check your summary real quick. You have inner focus, which I think prevents flinching, right? Yes, it does. Pretty sure there's another ability that does that exact thing, but whatever. You go ahead and go to the box. Uh, let's go get a second Pokemon. Just because we're going to have to battle Team Skull next, and I'd rather be like... <gasps> oh, it's a Fennekin! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Just as I was talking about how I really like Brixian over Delphox, we encounter a Fennekin! Oh, I'm so happy I'm going to keep my smile on this whole time. Oh, come on. That just boosts your attack, right? It doesn't make you run? Good, 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 good. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, JCH, <laughs> you gotta, you got to come out, buddy. <laughs> that was dumb of me. I was leaving a Grass-type Pokemon out against a Fire-type. This is how I lose Pokemon. I mean, I'm trying to be careful, but then I just do dumb stuff like that. All right, Hara, you you can stay in you stay in the fire spin, buddy. You can just recover all the damage you take. I'm gonna look for a name Fennekin in my list here, and uh, I already see in my in my list. My name is in my own list. Not, it's not the next name or anything, like, I go down the, down the list of names in order of what they are. And sometimes I, like, veto, like, maybe, maybe I should go over this. I name every single Pokemon after a person that follows me on Twitter. I exported my Twitter following list from, like, a year ago, so it's not up to date. But I basically have every single person that follows me on Twitter as of, like, over a year ago. And... I exported that list, I randomized it and put it in a random order, and I just name Pokemon after whatever name is next. And sometimes I veto it if, like, the name... Oh, then I can call for help. Who is it? It is another Fennekin. I can't throw a Pokeball now, right? It's no good. It's impossible to aim unless there's only one Pokemon. Okay. You've got to kill that Fennekin. Which you can do pretty easy with a uh, bubble beam, I believe, Hara. There we go. Bye, Fennekin. But yes, I basically name every single Pokemon after someone that follows me on Twitter. It's not an endorsement for my Twitter or anything, even though it's technically on the end screen. Um, but this, this list is a year old, so even if you followed me to try and get a Pokemon named after you, it wouldn't work because this is an outdated list. Um, but yeah, I, it's just because I'm uncreative and I can't really think of nicknames is the problem. So I was like, well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do that. It gives, it gives me 700 plus names that you know, and some of them fit and some of them don't. And sometimes I, I bypass names if they don't fit or if it's like, if it's clearly a girl's name, I save it for a girl Pokemon. But uh, Fennekin. If I'm looking at the list, the next name in the list is Skila. Ski. Is that one L or two? No, it's two eyes. Skila. Like that. Uh, do you have your hidden ability? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter anymore because I can change your ability. You got magic guards. This Pokemon only takes damage from attacks. That's cool. Uh, it's not 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 a great ability, but it's it's okay. You can go to the box, Skila. Um. All right. Really, really, really quick. Let's heal up our Pokemon, and then we'll take on Team Skull. Just to. Uh... Oh, I'm out of super potions now. Wow. Okay. I'll have to stop back. What have I got here? Oh, Super Repellent Mystic Water. That's right. And there's Sleep Talk. Okay, well, whatever. Let's... Um, I'm going to put Hara and Lily up front. 
I don't think it's a double battle, but these two can still evolve. So I kind of I'm hoping that I can get them to evolve soon. Wait, what's Rotom saying? Hey Miggy, it looks like you've been on the road for a while now. Why don't you save? No, I'm good. Oh, we look at Rotom's face, it's so sad now. <laughs> Suck it, Rotom. Hello, horse. You there, trainer, can you come to my aid? Sure, Munchkin. Yo, yo, yo! It's, it's them! It's Team Skull! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Don't go turn your backside on us! And you, you're that numbskull trainer from Mella Mella, yo! These scoundrels are Pokemon fees, and you're on familiar terms with them? Yeah, they're like my best friends! Are you kidding me? Sup, Grunne? How you doing, Grumpy? Well, yeah, I know who they are. Yeah, that's right, you do! I am Hapu. Life in the big city sure is something else. Pokemon themes rose, roam about brazenly. Hmm, I leave that one to you. <laughs> Yo, we don't thieves, it's legitimate business! We got straight up, we got straight messed up in Melamele, got exiled to Akala, but we ain't going out like that. I love them. They are so, so good! And the music! What a fucking bop! Alright, Hala, um... You don't have a lot of health, Hala, but... Go for a bubble beam, it's at least a stab move. I called you Hala, I mean Hara. Disable, alright, never mind, no more bubble beam for you then. <laughs> Hit with Metal Claw then. You aren't part Steel type yet, so it's not going to do great damage, but... Ooh, that was a crit! Oh, and it boosted your attack, hell yeah! And Hypnosis. This is this is the game telling me, hey, remember that Sleep Talk TM that you, you, you said was useless? Guess what? If you had taught it to your Pokemon, you could attack this turn. Instead, now you've got to use an Awakening, which I have plenty of, so too bad, game. Look at fucking Grunt B back there. Or is this Grunt A? Wake Up Slap, okay. I think Wake Up Slap does more damage if you were asleep. I think. Uh, but whatever, you go, you go Metal Claw it again. Psybeam, you can take a Psybeam right, Hara? You're confused, so that's kind of scary. But I don't think that was... Mm. You know what, you go for it. If you hurt yourself and get hit by a Psybeam, that's your own fault. Oh shit. Oh no, Hara! 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 Oh wait, use Hypnosis again. Whew. That was close. Alright, I should not play uh, fast and loose with my Pokemon. Bullbeam isn't disabled anymore, but uh, that doesn't matter to me, because we are going to... Uh, use Eliminate! He's going to use Wake Up Slap. So I guess we'll see how much damage it does on a sleeping Pokemon. Never mind, he's going to use Psybeam. Um, let's use another Awakening, sure. Hopefully he uses Wake Up Slap this turn. Her woke up and there's Wake Up Slap. There we go, so we timed it just right. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I didn't want to get hit by the Wake Up Slap, even if it wasn't going to, like, you know, do double damage or whatever. Oh, you're still confused, that's right. But you hit a ball beam anyway! Good job, buddy! Well done! <laughs> Good job, Power. What's this guy doing with a Hypno anyway? Lily wants to learn Fury Attack. No, you don't. Fury Attack kind of sucks. 
see. Uh, coughing. Uh, you're a poison type, so... You know what, Joe? You know what? Yeah, Joe. 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 Joe just evolved. Joe deserves to come out here and get a get a bit of time out in the in the spotlight after evolving. I'm. I mean, I really don't like how Crunkledur looks. Your your grind. Your <laughs> you went from having a piece of you had a two by four, a piece of wood. You then evolved, and that two by four turned into uh, an iron. No, not an iron. A steel beam. And now you've evolved again, and that steel beam has evolved into two pieces of rock that you have fashioned into... I don't I don't even know what they are. Oh, Coughing Dodged. Venom Drench. Joe's attack fell. Oh my god, Joe lost a lot of stats there. That's not good, but... Uh, Joe should be okay. Joe, you're going to have to just hit Chip away. I know that he hasn't boosted his, like, defense or anything, but it's pretty much all you can really hit. Rock throw, although nice, isn't great. Actually, does chip away, does chip away ignore my, I don't remember how this works now. Looks for the target stat changes don't affect, okay, so it's the target, so if he buff, <gasps> Oh no, Joe! Joe, 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 Joe! Come on, please, buddy, please! Uh, mm. Poison, poison, don't finish you off! Poison, don't finish you off, buddy! Oh my god, he leveled up! That might have saved his life! He gained 3 HP! He wants on Rock Slide! You know what, buddy? It's just in case you die. Let's give it a Rock Throw and give you Rock Slides. Will that give you enough strength? The strength to live this! Live the poison! Live the poison! Oh, and the leftovers. Okay, we're safe. Joe's alright, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh! Darkness, you come out. You come out. <laughs> that, that was so close! I mean, if he hadn't leveled up, he would have been fine. But, oh my god. Oh my god! See, I, I know I've only lost six Pokemon so far in this playthrough, and... You know... Two-thirds of them were recent. It was against How in... Um, Panolia Town. Ooh, Thunderfang! Quad effective! Quad effective! Mm. You're coming out, buddy. Come on out, Night Fuel. You gotta come out, buddy. You gotta come out. Yeah, I lost. I lost. Um, Murkrow in the trial against um, How's grandfather, the 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 island Kahuna. I lost. Um, I don't even remember. I don't remember the other ones. At least not in what order. I know we lost. Oh, never mind. Either way, we lost two. We've only lost six Pokemon so far, and I've come close to losing Pokemon many, many times already. Oh my god, the yeah! With all these losses, we're gonna anger our bosses. These tears taste like salt, yo. It's all your fault, yo. Floon. Mudsdale, should we stomp these scoundrels? No! Are you kidding me? Pe people have been killed by getting kicked by horses. It'll be a mess to clean up afterward, but I'm willing if you are. Time for us to break out, yo! Gotta yell at... Gotta tell y'all peace out, yo! I'm not gonna keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says and drill into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numbskull. You'll be fine getting home. Bye bye. Bye, Drifloon. Glad to see that Drifloon will get home on her own. She's going to kidnap a child on the way back. She thought I was a child. It's because I'm so small. Gotta thank you, that. Give me your name. Miki, yeah? It's a fine name. I like the way you handled yourself in battle. 
Mudsail and I are always wandering all about Alola to try and achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. I am indebted to you for your aid after all. You might want to try your hand at the Battle Royale or two. Mudsail here thinks you'd be well suited to it. Alright, bye bye. Um. Shut up, Rotom. I see there's a Pokemon Center this way. Alright, let's. Uh, uh. No, 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 no. I'm not going to risk it. The issue is if I go there and then How appears and he's like. Hi, Miki! Let's battle! You don't have a say in this! I will be screwed and I will lose Pokémon. I'm going to go back to the Pokémon Center, I'm going to heal, then I'm going to go and get ambushed by How. I'm not lose- after I just talked about how I've only lost six Pokémon so far, two recently in the last, like, five episodes, I am not about to lose more Pokémon. It would just be like jinxing myself 